Welcome back to Shana Alina, where we sold everything we own to travel Southeast Asia. This week, you'll find us in Ubud, Bali, where we have two days to try see as much as we can. Good morning, everyone. Today's the day. We're gonna go down. Do it at the gate. Uh, we're going down to Ubud. So we packed everything last night, and now Sean's ready to go. dragging ourselves out of bed we had a long journey through Bangjar which was a bit dangerous but absolutely breathtaking I will say the views there were amazing okay so we've just stopped after a traumatic driving we took the back roads you know it was tough going to be honest we made it and we're literally going up and down mountains on like a non-main road but let's have a look at this we just stopped here at the lakes Okay, oh, we've arrived. <laughs> Lovely. Done some fantastic driving. Oh, well, thank you, Lena. It was, uh, it was a solid drive. How long were we driving for? An hour. At least an hour. Minutes. Yeah, an hour 40, yeah. But uh, we've arrived at Lecky Lecky Waterfalls here. So we're, it looks amazing, to be honest. We've arrived in Ubud. Parking here, not the best. Oh my god, it's such a pretty drive. Stop. I love our homestay as well. It was like 100k, which is just, I think, over 5 euro. Yeah, it's 6.50. Yeah, it was 6.50. Just so good, 6.50 a night, guys. Uh -huh. With um, breakfast included. With breakfast, yeah, that's unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna walk down to uh, Blend Cafe. And uh, maybe do the, it, that's beside the monkey tree forest. Just gonna walk around today. Don't wanna drive too much in Ubud City because it's pretty hectic. All right, we'll check back in. We found the monkey on the road. Don't know what he's doing. Just chill. I'm getting this Buddha behind you. 
actually chatting to you, Sean. The absolute coy whisperer. Don't fall in. How's your experience so far, Sean? Uh, it looks amazing. We haven't really gone far, to be honest. <laughs> There's the entrance. Just Look at this I've noticed stone in Indonesia work. in general. Yeah, the stonework, right? It's just phenomenal. And we've already seen plenty of monkeys outside the monkey forest. Hopefully, we can see some inside. Okay. Not, not much food now, I'll be honest. Who's gonna tell him? <laughs> someone, someone has to let him know. So far, we're what, maybe 30, 40 minutes in the monkey park. Honestly amazing. We had one of them try to get into Lena's bag. We didn't get the footage, unfortunately. Yeah. One monkey did get into someone's bag. And oh, started yeah. taking Start out eating socks. balloons. Yeah, the monkey was yeah, absolutely the monkey thought it was real food. Look at this tree here. This, honestly, the park's been phenomenal. I must say, oh shit. Oh shit. He's like, these are my corn and the cobs. No one's getting them. Oh, he's coming. <laughs> He's dropping them. <laughs> You're not climbing on me. <laughs> this fella is eyeing me up. Where are we? So we're still in here. Oh, we can go try go on the wooden path. Yeah, so yeah. So I think left, it's just think. up here. Doing that little happy baby pose. I'd actually really recommend visiting the Monkey Forest if you're in Ubud Town itself. It's a short walk, makes you feel like you're in a Tomb Raider game, and honestly was a highlight of the trip for us. Here we're at the palace, Ubud Palace here. What did you think of the monkeys? I love the monkeys. Yeah, it was They're so, so cute. worth it. It was actually a great day. They kept trying to steal my bag. They did jump on you a couple of times. Yeah, but, uh, we a bit survived. traumatic, but we survived. It's fine. I'm so sweaty. Oh, I'm dripping. Well, but, uh, yeah, I had a great time. Yeah, Ubud's been nice. It's been mm -hmm. jammed, though, I will say. Busy. It's a lot busier than where, where we are up in. Yeah, uh, in the north. Check out the palace and then dip home and then dinner. I need to get some We're jammed. Me. Yeah, Lena's leg is. Let's have a look. Oof. It's all raised. Yeah, it? yeah, that actually looks terrible, honestly. Fancy. 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 Oh 
shit. Will we go have a, yeah, what, we, what, what do you want to do first? So here we are, we're at, what's it called, Crater Ubud. No, it's Alas Harum. Oh, we're at Alas Harum. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe let's have, we'll have a look. We know it's come yeah, back and feed yeah. a few, few animals on the way out, maybe. Yeah, so this is what, like a... Popular tourist destination. Yeah, maybe it was like a 10 minute, 50 minute drive from Ubud. Yeah, it's the place where everyone goes for the swing. <laughs> We're not going to do the swing because it's quite expensive, 15 yeah. euro for a swing. 15 so. euro to have a swing. I'd rather spend that money on food. <laughs> Absolutely. Or one night's accommodation. <laughs> Literally, like. Hello. Morning. Is this just a restaurant, is it? Uh, we also have the swimming pool area downstairs. Oh, okay. And uh, we don't have any swimming gear. <laughs> so, can, is there a left turn there to go down to the... Can we go over there? To the restaurant? Yeah, yeah. Oh, we can go this way. Okay, great. Now, if you're looking for a place to take some pictures, this is your spot. But if I'm being honest, it made me feel a bit more anxious than I am usually because it just kind of felt like a race for the best Instagram pictures and who's the best dressed and all. It just made me feel a bit out of my comfort zone. But that's not to say that this place was truly breathtaking. Stop flashing. A free woman. <laughs> Some sweet food like a papaya, mm. banana, coconut, and all the mm. meat, the coffee mm. beans. Right, right. After five days, become like this. Right. We remove the skin, we only take the inside of it like mm. one by one by mm -hmm. ten. Yeah. They're ready to go to the roasting uh -huh. process. Right, right. Wow. So for the, rest, for the roasting process, we take around 45 minutes for right. one piece uh -huh. of coffee. And then they keep setting until the brown color. You can smell after 45 minutes for the Wow. Wow. It smells good, right? Mmm, that does smell uh -huh. like that. Yeah. After we roasting, we grind it here. Oh. Right. The grinding will take around 10 until 13 minutes to get the smell out. Wow. Okay. Yeah. We'll give it a go. Well, I'll see you in 30 minutes. Bye. Put your back into it. <laughs> so this is the ready for me to cook it. And then the big one, like this. Yeah. We put back here. Put back in. Keep, keep grounded. Please. Thank you. Uh, so we're gonna, about to get sold on coffee, are we? I think that's what's happening. Hello. Try some. Here for a little coffee. Yeah, we might give it a miss. What do you think? A bit pricey. Yeah. We might try another time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thanks. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. I think that's yeah. what the animals were. Yeah, they were just yeah. those. The coffee. Oh, we have one. Oh. Little cuties. Oh, these guys are cute, man. Man, they're so cute. I kind of feel sorry for them. Yeah. Um, they're nocturnal as well. Not much of a nocturnal environment no, for them. You can't really sleep here. Be tough to sleep, all the bloody tourists.
Okay, we're at the end of our rice field trekking. And honestly, I'd recommend coming here. With water. With water. And, uh, oh, I'm so tired. Definitely better than the one place that we went last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if we brought uh, swimsuits. Real rice uh, paddies. Yeah, if we brought swimsuits and had like more time. Yeah, last one was more of like a beach club nearly. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And yeah. rice paddy fields. Um, but it is beautiful. It is yeah. absolutely beautiful here. It's just uh, we're kind of hungry. We're uh, wish you had more very time. dehydrated, and we have to also hit a road today. So, oh well, yeah, let's yeah. take one last look here. Maybe let's have a look. It is beautiful. Obviously, a lot of the rice has been harvested. So I'd say if you came here uh, while the rice is still growing, it'd be just lush, lush green. But it's still incredibly uh, dense with flora. After stopping in for some Indonesian classics, we hit the road for our four-hour journey to be met by thunderous storms and sore butts. It was a tough four hours. <laughs> Next week, we take on Mount Batu Karu, one of Bali's highest peaks. And boy, oh boy, did we feel the pain. All right, check it out next week. And to please the YouTube gods, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, and a subscribe. All right, take it easy.